Hi, welcome back to Mike's Diabetes World. <coughs> so, how's things going? How's your plan going? How's staying on an even keel going for you? Now, does that mean, <coughs> excuse me, you can't go out, you can't go, uh, let's say, to a special event and think, oh, well, I'll get something there. And then you don't know what to get or, and you end up making the worst choices possible. Well, just like anything else with diabetes, it's planning. You know, you you could call up a restaurant and say, well, what's, you know, what's in here? Like, how many carbs do you think uh, you put in there? You know, you could do that. You can, some restaurants I've been to, granted not a hell of a lot of them, but some of them have had them placed in the menu, like little lines to saying what's what. But, you know, don't rely, oh, well, I'll just know, because you won't know. Trust me, I've been that route. I've been having to race into a grocery store to get something for lunch and just had something that was very high fat, which... I found was it took my blood sugar a long time to come up and I found you don't want that late at night you don't want your blood sugar peaking as you go back to bed you want it to have already peaked and to kind of come down gradually over the night. But just, oh, just do your homework. Again, ask your dietitian for some help. You know, I was just thinking about that today. I was watching videos all afternoon and I actually got up and sat in my chair today for the first time. Yay! My shoulder still hurt, but it wasn't as bad off. But I started to see all these food commercials and I was thinking, what do we use to do? Well, we used to phone we used to have our orders placed. If there was something special we need to have done, we'd let them know beforehand. Because I know nothing's worse than in a busy restaurant. You say, 
Oh, can I have this off? Can you add that to this? And the they just want to get the food in and out as quickly as possible. So, for years, I've been trying to learn how to live with my diabetes. And I'm sure we all are. Because, oh, sorry, I just can't get my pills. There we go. Because I don't know about you, but <sighs> now, what do I don't know about you? Oh, I hate the feeling <coughs> of being high, of peeking after. You know, kind of the feeling that I would go and eat a big lunch and then I would go and try to get work done and you're kind of oh, you know, I'm just I just could cool up <sighs> and just nap here. Really? I'm sure you could. <coughs> but I know you ate out a lot over Christmas. Now you can go out, have a meal, and don't binge. You know, everyone's usually at Christmas. Oh, have a piece of Christmas cake. Oh, you don't look like you. Oh, no, don't worry about it. And it's kind of, oh, yes, they really had to push hard to make us go over the cliff, didn't they? But just keep an eye on what you're doing. Every time you say, "Oh no, I'll grab something on out on the office." Now, I got into the habit of when I was working, though this is granted, every night I would get up or not get up. I would go and iron out my shirt, my tie, make sure I had a clean suit to wear. I would then start planning my meal for the next day. And you know what? When you get home and you really don't feel like cooking, it's the best thing. Plan your meals out for the week and put them in the freezer so that you can come home, put them in the fridge, press cook or whatever it is, heat or whatever you want to call it, and things better. You don't have to come home, get changed, cook a whole meal, then get ready for work the next day, blah, blah, blah. blah. That was a little trick I learned from my mother, actually. She used to prepare all our meals for the week, Sundays. Sundays, she used to put, I got to give her credit, she used to put on great um, Sunday dinners. And then she would... Sorry, not then. While she was doing that, she was preparing the meals for the whole week. Now, I come from a pretty large family, and it was up to the older kids to get up and make sandwiches for the day for the whole family. So they'd make one for mom, one for my dad, and so on. What this taught us was, you know, being a little bit more prepared. Oh, my nose is itchy. Why is my nose so itchy? I don't know. Oh, that feels good. Now... Since I've been eating better, 
I've been finding, with the exception of today, I'm not so itchy all day, even though I've been touching and scratching all day. That's because I didn't really get up, didn't really do anything. But you know what? Keeping your blood sugars under control allows you to feel better. And why wouldn't you want to feel better? Oh, it's just too much work. Oh, but you know what? The first couple of times you do it, yeah, it's a lot of work. After that, it's like clockwork. And on a day you totally forget to do something, oh, well, I'll get up early in the morning and do it. You know you won't get up in the morning and do it, so things slide by. Don't, don't be that diabetic. Be prepared. Anyway, I hope you have a great day, great night, whatever you're watching this, and I'll talk to you later. Bye now.